Hey friend, do you have a process when it comes to mixing your own music and are you efficient when you mix your own music? Um, in the video today, I want to do a challenge to see if I can mix a song in 30 minutes and still have it coming out sounding good. And my hope for the video is that it will give you uh, some skills, some tools to use if you get stuck in the mixing process. Let's jump in and see if I was able to mix this song in 30 minutes. So the idea for this video came about because I've really been thinking about efficiency and having a process when it comes to making music, particularly in Studio One, um, actually because I'm developing a course now on how to use Studio One, showing someone from the beginning stages to the ending stages of making a song. And by the way, if you want to get access to when that course releases, just click the link below and sign up for my free five-step home recording guide, and I'll notify you within a couple weeks of when the course is released. But right now, let's jump into the 30-minute mixing challenge. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is give you a quick preview of the song so you can listen to the mix. Um, this is the verse. Kind of the beginning of the song. Now here is the chorus. And then here is kind of the bridge solo section. Okay, so now you have a rough feel for the song. And in this challenge, the first thing that I did was to organize my tracks. This helps you jump around really quickly when you're in the mixing stages. Um, so I basically labeled all the colors. So you know you can see that the pianos are uh, green, the vocals are yellow, uh, the acoustics blue, bass is purple, and then down here is all the electric guitars and all the drums. And for this I um, put created folders, uh, which is really easy to do in Studio One. All you do is right click on it and then you click pack folder, which will basically group all of those tracks into one folder, making it just easy to work on. And then you can open that up when you need to. Same thing for the drums down there. So all in all, that took about five minutes just to kind of set that up. The second thing I did was to set all the levels. In this step, the first thing I did was to set everything to zero down here. So um, that way you're kind of starting from a blank slate and all the tracks are grouped together and they're not all over the place. And then you can kind of mix after that. I ended up using, uh, bringing the drums up a little bit using the input gain, which is kind of a cool control up here to boost the drums a little bit. Um, and I also, you know, just brought down the vocals. Some of the instrument tracks were quite a bit hotter than others, so I had to bring those down into the levels. Uh, that seems good to my ear. Um, and then in this step, I also set up the panning. So you can see down here, uh, the panning, these are on the drum tracks, these are on the guitar tracks, and that really helped to balance out the mix. So it kind of gave everything its own space in the mix. And I would say this step took me about 10 to 12 minutes, uh, creating a rough mix, just getting all the levels correct. Okay, so the third thing that I did was to create bus tracks. And this saves you so much time because you're not having to put all these effects onto each different channel. You can just do it for a group of tracks and then apply the effects to the bus. So for example, um, I have a drum bus over here, a guitar bus over here. Um, you can see as well as a vocal bus over there, uh, which makes it just really fast and easy to use. The way that you set up your drum bus or whatever bus you wanna do is if you can, you select all of these tracks, you highlight them and then you right click on it and then click add bus for selected channels and studio one automatically routes those to that bus so it's really cool and then you can um, just hear that for example um, if you want to just solo out the bus i can hear like the drums or if i want to go to just the guitars or even the just the vocals 
So it lets you quickly isolate those, um, making it really fast and efficient and save time. The fourth step is season to taste. And in this step, uh, this is where you can really get lost in the weeds is when you start adding effects to all of your things. Um, and I will disclose that I... Uh, have effects chains saved already uh, within Studio One, so it makes it a little bit faster when I can just quickly pop in a guitar effects chain or a, a drum bus that I've worked on in the past. I want to show you how to do that really easily. So if you go to your drum bus and you click the inserts, uh, there's a little drop down here, and then if you scroll down, you can see my my effects chains right here but you can also save your own effects it says store effects chain right down below so you can uh, store your own effects chains and then they get saved in the effects section all right in studio one so it's it's a really fast way to do this but through this um I, I spent about 15 more minutes going through this, just making sure everything kind of sounded pretty good. I was happy with it because no project is the same, right? Even if you have an effects chain, every project is going to be a little different. You're going to need to tweak things um, and set those up like that. But that really helped me to save some time using those effects chains. And I generally know that in that I'm gonna put like a pro EQ in the beginning, then maybe a compressor, and then a room reverb and a delay. Uh, those are generally the kind of places I start with in terms of the signal flow or the order of the chain. So in conclusion, uh, this did take me 30 minutes to set this all up and to get this mix going, and I was pretty happy with the end result. Now truth be told, if I was releasing this music, I probably would go back and fine tune some things, spend a little bit more time in that process but it did give me a system to use when i go to mix my music and when i go to mix music for other clients so i hope this video helped you if you want to get access to when my course becomes available just click the link in the description below and i'll see you in the next video